The Red Hills are a prominent feature of the southern end of the Richmond Ranges with no tracks except the Tiararoa Trail which skirts its western flank. Our plan was to start from State Highway 63 and walk up to Red Hills Hut. The following day we'd cross the plateau, climb up the Red Hills Ridge to camp in the basin below the summit. We had recently had rain so we were fairly confident that we would have a nearby water source without having to drop down to the headwaters of the Mochueka River East Branch or a nearby tarn. It's an easy 90 minute walk up the mainly four wheel drive road to Red Hills Hut where we found one TA tramper in residence. From the hut a trail leads up onto the plateau and a few keens assisted passage around the worst of the swampy areas leading to the bottom of the ridge. It was easy travel up the lower open sections to Chrome, 10 kilometres from the hut. From here the ridge line starts to narrow and the boulders get bigger. As we approached spot height 1770 we had to constantly walk over the boulders with a bit of scrambling to navigate around the worst sections. From 1770 we had a good view down to our proposed campsite in the basin and could see the sun reflecting off several water sources nearby. We set up camp on the red silt plain noting that this place would make a great refrigerator. With two and a half hours of daylight remaining we started our climb to the summit which required some careful route selection to avoid the worst of the snow covered steeper sections. We had a great 360 degree view from the summit as we watched the shadows quickly climbing up the ridge behind our campsite. It was a slow descent back down the snow covered rocks and we reached camp after a 90 minute round trip. It was a very cold morning in our refrigerator as we packed up camp and started our climb up to spot height 1770. A cold breeze as we checked out the views from the summit meant we wouldn't be removing any layers anytime soon. The sun glistened off the Mochueka River East Branch as we made our way down towards the plateau. Our feet were starting to complain from their abuse as we descended to the car park. We really enjoyed this area of the mineral belt and the open views it provided.